showcase last week number one also first time we're actually mentioning this one we've got over here something called exile edge or exile edge first off this is a chinese developed third person shooter and hack and slasher built with the use of unreal engine 5 and also actually the first work of its developers i'm not really sure because we haven't heard any name as for people behind it but here's a trailer also knows that the game is coming to pcs only and in its actually early stages of development Y'all remember the game Abzu or Pathless? Well, the same creators of the game, Giant Squid, about a week ago, went on and revealed another game called Sword of the Sea. Here's a trailer, y'all come to realize it's actually quite a bit a mix of Journey and Pathless with some other twists. This game is now coming to PCs and PlayStation 5 only later this year. Dreamlet Games just came out and announced this open world building game here on the show going by the name Tower of Agaspa. That is, coming to the PlayStation 5 and PCs early next year. This is an island management sim where you explore this place, learn about the ecosystem, get a material and matter, hunt a little bit, so you can eventually manage some civilization. Check it out. This game is a little bit in the same vein as the Monster Hunter Hunter games, and specifically made with family-friendly components. Good. Not good enough. 
Slim chance you missed out on this one, but Hades 2 was revealed at the Game Awards a few months ago and was ever since touted as a Switch to PC and the next generation console exclusive, with the release window of 2023 made to late. The sequel over here, just like the original game, is touted as a godlike, roguelike dungeon crawler and an all new underworld where you'll explore a bigger, deeper, mythic world with a more engaging story. That's it, we're still anticipating a precise release date. Trifle with powers far beyond your comprehension, witch. Okay, if I call you witch like that. Vengeance for your family awaits you. He is no mere titan. He is time itself. And time cannot be stopped. Wait for me, father. I'll be this. After the Great War, he suddenly left us, and we lost everything. Coming as a first work of its developers. Number 5, we have Testament, The Order of High Human. This is a first person metroidvania action adventure RPG set in this post apocalyptic fantasy world, kind of inspired by Nordic mythology, where you play the role of a savior trying to save a realm from betrayal. Anyway, here's a trailer. This game is coming to PCs and all consoles except Switch in about a few months from here. Announced almost four months ago, after, I mean re-announced, after like a year of absence, with an update trailer finally, we have Project TH once again. This is a Splinter Cell inspired, just for those of you new, shooter, but compared to the franchise, the Splinter Cell is a rather more cinematic game described by developers as a story-heavy action third-person stealth shooter from Korean developers. Project TH is said to be coming out either late 2023 or early next year for PCs and the next generation of consoles only. Take a look. can no longer fool me. Neither reality. I'm stuck somewhere between them. Coming up behind that, uh, we have a game called something called Nobody's Left. Well, first off, what seems to be a third person action survival Maybe in the same vein as the play games, you know, Requiem, or even Division, but all we know is that the game is coming to PCs with a Steam page in the works, and possibly other consoles as well. Nobody knows. That's actually not official. Anyway, Nobody's Left was announced last year. We're still trying to figure out where these developers came from, or even how far they're into development, but this is the only thing we've got so far. I lost touch with humanity and became the only god of this wreck. Grandpa, I can see why you were so cruel to me. Because this world has no mercy. All of this forest is watered by blood drops, so I'm trying to give it more of that.
announced almost half a year ago, ever since on the wind the shadow of a lot of bigger reveals. Number 8 we have from a really well-known indie publisher, the game called Europa. This is an action-adventure open-world game that's halfway boldo from a couple years ago, and another half just Breath of the Wild with hints of Ghibli studio designs and graphics. Europa is coming to PCs, we're not sure precisely when, but Wars has it by the end of the year, and this is how it looks in case you missed it. Fated quest for eternal youth. I struggle on uncharted shores and our galleon shattered upon rocks. Number 9. From only a month ago, sitting on Steam through its early access, we've got here Survival Fountain of Youth. That's a pretty challenging, I mean, as described, single player open world survival game set on the Caribbean islands. It's about some explorer dude who's shipwrecked on his Caribbean land around the 16th century and now has to craft tools and shelter and has to figure out both his own fate and the island and secrets. Take a look at this game games in his early access phase like I said and do out fully for PCs and Xbox consoles only in about a month. These paintings, these inscriptions. What if I can find it? Coming as the first work of its developers and publishers, we've got over here, I think I mentioned this one only once, a game called War Dogs. This is an action adventure, it had souls like history, meet future open world and feel or aesthetic generally, where you play as a member of a long forgotten order of technomancers called War Dogs, tasked with finding and stopping an evil that took over the world. Here's a trailer, this game is coming to PCs by the DR. Space was my second home, my work that mattered. I was the hero for my nation, for my family. That mission was different. Moving on, we have Moon Mystery. This is a first-person shooter, or just one with first-person shooter elements, because it seems to be a puzzle game mainly and an exploration-based. Maybe something in the same vein as Boundary, or at least in terms of combat, or something strange is happening on the moon, and you're the only dude who can figure out the problem. Take a look. Moon Mystery is said to be coming out to pieces only by the mid year, and here's a trailer. From the others. My name is Sam Walker, and I want my life back. I mentioned this one before, if you missed it, from the same developers behind Hyper Life Drifter, one of the best pixel art action games of 2016, in case you're new to it, that actually was revealed last year and revealed that the next project going by the name Hyper Light Breaker is now coming in a 3D form instead with hints of Breath of the Wild games and Souls-like elements, hack and slash and fast-paced components as for the series' previous game. Check it out, this game said to be released by the end of the year for PCs only. <laughs> Thank you. 
probably the weirdest thing you're gonna see today. Uh, we've got over here an action first person shooter, sort of gore, atmospheric and cell shaded graphics game in the making for a few months now called The Explorator. This is somewhere a mix of the shooting game 13, which had the cell shaded graphics just like this, with a little bit of Cuphead in aesthetic. You know, the 2D cartoony game? Just take a look. This game's said to be coming to PCs and Xbox consoles only sometime later this year. Blackthorn Keep Chronicles, on the other hand, over here is a, I mean, it's described by developers as a low fantasy strategic action RPG about some nobleman who was stripped from his old properties and titles facing against an evil empire by himself trying to change the fate of his own family or just die trying. Blackthorn Year, which actually used to be the name of a very old famous Blizzard platform game, is now coming to PCs later this year, and yes, it is an open world game in nature. Number 15 from a couple of months ago through its reveal trailer and an official website over here, we got a game called Atmosphere. Described as a high sky odyssey survival game set on an alien planet, to some extent in the same style of the No Man's Sky game, we do mostly exploring and surviving by gathering resources and engineering, building as you go. Anyway, here's a trailer, this game's set to be coming out early next year. David, can you turn on the light? Wait, let me try the receiver. Let there be light! I'll take that. We'll go look for the repair kit. Be careful. I found a broken generator. Repairing now. Good. There's one more left. Coming up behind that from November last year, announced through Twitter in the beginning, uh, we've got over here Level Zero. Guys, Level Zero is an asymmetrical survival horror PvP. We're about a team of scientists who must prepare an electrical malfunction on their spaceship after a really long journey, about some 20 years into the future, which is also where they eventually notice this problem or system error is more than just hardware. There's something else going on here, just like the Alien games. This game is coming to PCs and all consoles by the end of the year. Naked chair and her dead. Shit. Shit! We have to restore the power now! Grab the car to Sector C! Got it. Okay. I'll see you at the gate. We are long past the point of hope. With each day, we become more desperate. At number 17, from a few months ago, through its official reveal trailer, we've got here by Pickpock, Into the Dead, Our Darkest Days. Well, this is a new entry into the Into the Dead franchise and a PC exclusive that's ever since promised to be released in its early access phase in 2024. At its earliest, actually. It's a side-scrolling zombie survival game apart from the franchise, set in Texas, and this is how it looks. There's no turning back. We have to work together, and survive long enough to escape this city. 
no matter what it takes. Moving on, we have a game called Cocoon. From roughly six months ago, what is described by Anapin and Reactive, the old veteran cinematic developers, and believe it or not, by one of Play Dead's lead designers of games like Inside or Limbo, as a insectoid driven top down puzzle adventure, which is quite the catch for a description title, I would have to say. I mean, the trailer is amazing, but the tag is something else. Cocoon is supposedly releasing later this year and is coming to PC, Switch and Xbox consoles only. Coming up behind that from only three days ago, announced through IGN official, we've got over here a Cuman Aztec. This is a third person survival action RPG that's in development for PCs and throughout in 2024. This game is straight an Assassin's Creed inspired third person action RPG. So, in this Mexican 1400 era, where like the movie Apocalypto, they're beheading people for just God's blessing. Check it out, this game is actually amazing. And last but not least, coming through a Kickstarter with over four times its initial goal funded so far, we have a game called Solar Punk. Y'all know we already had Cyberpunk, Diesel Punk, Steampunk, etc. And now this. The game here is a cozy survival in nature, set in this advanced world of floating islands. Remember the old Chrono Triggers, floating islands, and the game's map? Well, it's just like that except it's a survival game and it's a sim. Check it out, this game's set to be coming to PCs only around September this year. <laughs> 